It's really not a matter of, of if, it's a matter of when. Great use case from an RPA to deprovision a user when he is either he or she is terminated or leaves the organization. So when you're talking about minimizing risk to an organization, uh, automation um, for deprovisioning is, is an awesome use case, right? Uh, digital now and here. It's not about no more about PPTware. It's not no more about uh, that things can scale up. It's no more about can we take a really complex project for digital transformation. We see that we, we are kind of reached there where the, the kind of things our customers have achieved. Uh, we've been using Automation Edge past four years and it's been a wonderful journey, guys. We have reduced the tag by 90%. So far, so far we have deployed 100 plus bots in production where in network related, security related, voice related, user profile, access provisioning, deprovisioning. In fact, not just CAPTCHA, I can say we have deployed certain bots where it captures, we, we are able to handle two-way authentication, three-way authentication because those are rudimentary, absolutely repetitive steps. So what we did is we had to take a chance. So when doing the process of uh, reviewing that, shifting from the existing to the new version, new era, we found the existing process, what was following in the system, what the trade managers were doing, what the CPA was doing, what the agencies were doing. We found there was a scope. Today, um, we have a volume of around 12,000 odd cases, uh, which is coming on a daily basis. The board is now able to do around 7 to 8,000 cases a day, and that's how uh, we are scoping up for uh, scaling up the, uh, scaling it, scaling up further to reach that 12,000 or 15,000 proposals can be processed by the board on a single day. We have actually used this now for 80% of our policies, and and that's. Where we are now, we are actually looking at industrializing the bot. Uh, we do not want to be only at experimental stage. Because Automation Edge themselves have been investing heavily in their technology. That helps us. It, it's a positive cycle. You know, automation of various uh, key and the mundane elements helps to better utilize our employees as we move forward and uh, to enable them to add more value to the organization rather than just only processing. There is a tremendous improvement in our day-to-day -day, you know, productivity. We chose the accounts payable process because that is almost 50% of the turnover of the company you know, as of now, which means we are also going beyond the RPA. How even the small enterprises can use RPA. RPA is not just for big boys, and it's possible to uh, start small and scale up. Process time got reduced, since bot can work all the time. Earlier, we could not have imagined doing a daily kind of uh, process, it was always a bad. By the time our people come in the office, already that day's reconciliation is done. The moment people step in, they can actually start taking actions rather than spending this time. We are talking about uh, RPA, we are talking about robotics, we are talking about blockchain, we are using all. By automation, to automate our manual activities, we have to have effective human resource, we have to increase our business sales, and we have to have uh, accuracy. We called upon seven to eight product companies Three odd, three odd uh, product companies which we selected. When we saw the hunger in automation edge, we were very convinced that they would bring in difference. And today, after two, two and a half years, 60, 67 processes in the bank, out of which now uh, 43 processes are live. The main thing what we saw is higher quality and risk mitigation. Two, two and a half years, we have not seen anything going wrong because of automation. We have a complex environment, so when we look at our environment, we have a lot of data centers, along with that we have a cloud and we have you know, a lot of processes that customers directly uh, interact with. So, understanding the complexity, uh, the core IT guys, the SMEs that we have, they were very reluctant in terms of uh, enhancing the access. Month on month we have about 12,000 tickets, so we analyzed them to understand uh, which are the uh, you can say low hanging fruit the quick wins that we can achieve. So that uh, you know, once uh, we are able to automate those cases, we have more people having confidence into the system and you know buying in to you know, uh, be open to kind of uh, enhance and get more work done through automation. Is that okay? What is your use case? Is there an ROI on this? Which are those vendors you have evaluated? 
how are the change management taking place and in your organization how those implementations are rolling out do you really get the benefit i think those days are gone what are the reality it is changing the way many workplaces are we truly partner with them and close to around 140 bots we have built so far our bots are spread not in terms of one use case or two which is in one part of the business or in one function they are spread in 22 functions hdfc life has become a kind of a lab and uh, truly automation edge is partnering with us in every respect to really support our vision our thoughts uh, in that journey landscape has changed in india there is much more automation possible there is much more digital intervention possible so what's the best uh, you know mix that we need to have in terms of enabling our organization is very important to consider keep innovating as you go along the journey don't think that you have reached the end state uh, get people together 300 plus unique processes in business 150 plus unique processes in it and what i really see is that we have made it possible together with automation edge and it took us eight months of evaluation in the indian market to choose the right product because the dream is to go ahead and work with indian products and sell it in the global market just to see whether transactions which have been done have been done correctly or not so people were spending more and more time in creating the reports and then analyzing it but the creation itself is to take so much time the time to analyze the report get into the detail of the reports and really represent what are the issues was never coming up so now with this automation edge coming out uh, report automation happening now we have teams who are just working in analyzing the reports rather than creating the reports so a few reports like certain tech reports we used to publish on a monthly basis or fortnightly basis or a weekly basis now most of our tech reports in our operations we are publishing on a daily basis for finance most important is audit trail most important is compliance and automation play a very good role in those areas this increase the confidence of auditor this reduce your audit fee this reduce your unnecessary question on audit and yes, you are double sure about the quality of work which is being processed.